every day. It runs through my mind, those poor families and what happened and the loss of beautiful lives. And it's, it's going to be with me to the day I die. People in Schoharie say they can still hardly fathom the loss of life that happened just outside their beloved home. And you all were saying that you still remember where you were when you heard what happened. Oh yes, oh yes, and I didn't believe it. I thought the media was wrong. But my daughter talked to me and she said, yes, they're saying 20 people lost their lives. That's, can't be, can't be. And once I got home, I realized it happened. With all the regulations. The, the In court, the defense has painted Naman Hussein as a kid who did everything he could to make sure that limo was safe. That defense appears to be resonating with the people we asked around town. Multiple people who watched coverage of the trial say they feel as though Hussein was a young man, that his life has been ruined over mistakes made by employees of Mavis Discount Tire who were tasked with repairing the limo. Nearly five years later, the memorial on the outskirts of town still looms large for the people who drive by it every day. In this small community, if you want to go to Albany, you want to go anywhere, you're, by, you're going out 30, you're passing that site every day. As bad as we feel, I can't imagine how terrible it is for the, for the relatives and the friends that these 20 people left behind. I can't even imagine their grief. And guys, it struck me how uh, people in this community feel for Nauman. They related to his defense, some of the strategies that his defense team used. And then obviously we've heard some people coming by the courthouse saying they believe that Nauman should get time in prison for uh, his actions. So lots of different opinions here. Are those people you talked to, Stella, paying attention to the trial and what's gone on inside? Oh, they are. And they say they've been paying attention since that day when they heard about this tragedy and they felt very connected to it because it happened right here. In their backyard right and that memorial as that woman said is so true you can't drive by that area without it really hitting you 